Welcome along to my local beach. This is my regular go-to beach, my lazy beach if you like. The one I come to when I can't be asked to drive anywhere. But that's all good because as you can see, it's pretty bloody gorgeous. This is Crooked River, tiny little kind of creek river, tidal river. Flows out down there, out into the ocean. I had high expectations for lots of high cloud in this evening sunset, but I don't think it's going to be that much to write home about there isn't the volume of high cloud that was forecast perhaps i should have checked one of the other models on windy.com i've taken i reckon probably getting on for 50,000 photos on this one beach so when i say it's my local i really mean it but there's always something new to photograph always something new to see well, it's still winter uh, and close to autumn, but it's not here yet. We have had some pleasant warm days, but uh, on the whole, it's pretty chilly. It's pretty chilly right now. A little bit of a breeze blowing. And I've just noticed that they've got the warning signs up because there's some rare uh, birds that nest here in the dunes. I'll look them up and put them on screen. I can't remember the name. And they put a kind of a little cordon around that to give the, uh, the birds a bit of safety and privacy. Dogs are actually banned from this beach, but you still see them down here and it's a bit distressing when you see them chasing those birds. And we've got a couple shoot going on on the beach. Not sure which photographer that is. Hello, mate. <laughs> and they're right where I want to be because there's some uh, tidal sandbars there you get beautiful reflections in the setting sun uh, this the big reveal is what I've come to photograph and I think you can agree that that is rather pleasant isn't it <laughs> now if you've watched my previous video to this one I will link it for you then that took place kind of round there, the other end of the beach. So this is at the very northern end of Seven Mile Beach, little very expensive coastal town called Jiroa. There isn't a property for sale here under a million bucks, not one. And when you've got a view like this, you can kind of understand why. surfers out there there's a very popular surf school here called surf camp shout out to the surf camp guys and all the backpackers come down from Sydney and stay for a weekend or a week and they learn to surf and that's them out there in the distance or well, some of them anyway I dare say there's some regular surfers in there too and that mountain's Kulungutti which is its Aboriginal name it's European name for Mount Coolangatta. Now, I'm going to leave the wedding or couple photography people to it. Try not to intrude because she's down to her bikini. <laughs> and I don't want to come across as some bloody per filming the scenario. Those photos are for them and them alone. <laughs> so I'm going to leave, leave well alone and just discreetly come down here. It's all good though because there's some beautiful reflections in this water up here in the uh, the low tide 
wave area. I will show you in a second. I will put the uh, camera down. I'm going to take some photos here. One of the locals come down for a bit of a sunset surf session. Oh, that's a nice shot with a surfer. Very nice. Oh yes, suits you sir. Gonna get wet feet. Feet are wet. Can confirm, feet are wet. All right, let's wait for this wave to go back and then I'm gonna pop the screen out and get some of these reflections of the water in the sand. The beautiful, we've got the clouds and everything. Oh, need to zoom out there, it's at 24 mil, back to 10 mil. This is beautiful, glassy shot. I'm gonna do one at head height as well. Actually, I was at f5.6 there, I'm an idiot. Let's get that to f8. Oh, there's loads we can do here. Gonna try and get one of those little waves as it's breaking. A nice little wave, look at that. Love it. There's a nice sort of three quarter shot here. So I'm just gonna switch out to the um, portable telly. I didn't bring the big telly, the bazooka today. Or the um, what is this one? The 50 to 230. Very underrated Fujifilm lens. This switch that out. I try and switch out the lenses in the cover of the bag to keep all the salt water and what have you out of the uh, camera body. There we go. Switch it out. So. A seagull I can see up in the sky there. I think it is. What an opportune moment to switch to the uh, to the zoom. He's not close enough. Now I wish I had the bazooka. No justice. Right, let's get a shot of these waves. Oh, that's lovely. Just did a sequence there. I'm going to do a bracketed shot as well, actually. Oh, that's lovely. The surface down the other end. Need another one of these glassy waves. Here we go, here it comes. Gonna get Cool and Gatter as a backdrop. A, uh, a wedding shoot or something they're doing because she's wearing a wedding dress or something now down there. Uh, I'd love to show you, but be a bit intrusive. He's waiting for one of the waves to start facing up a bit later, I suspect. But you wait too much, you miss all the waves. The light's getting in now. What we're doing here past sunset. Two minutes past sunset now. Come on, surfer. You're nice and close to me. I'd like a wave, please. I'm gonna drop the uh, aperture down and the ISO up to keep it crisp. I'm gonna give up on this dude. And I know when I do, as soon as I give up on him, he's gonna catch a bloody wave. You watch. <laughs> oh my God. There's still some nice gold and pastel tones in this uh, water here. Oh, seagull. Oh, he's got a tiddly wave. Is he going for, he's going for it? of outfits 
I was well away from them and giving them some privacy. So the sunset has disappointed. Still got some nice shots, which I'll have been sharing with you during the duration of this video, of course. And as I often say, you know, a lot of the time I will come out with the camera just because I want to be out in nature in a beautiful location like this. And the photos are almost incidental sometimes. Doesn't mean they're all shit. Just means that sometimes the photographs are not the be all and end all of uh, going out on an evening like this. It's a bit like the fisherman, isn't it? I don't think many of them care that much if they ever catch anything. They just like a bit of solitude being in their own heads for a bit. Yeah, so I did check on windy.com and the forecast was for a lot more cloud than this. They were talking sort of 75% coverage and stuff like that, which is ideal, but there's no effing way that that is 75% high cloud coverage and it's not getting backlit anyway. So, bit of a bust, but it's all good. Well, there's Millionaire's Row. Some fairly famous people own property up on that headland. So you can see the kind of shots that are possible here at the moment. You've got the reflected sun, uh, the tides right out of the beach, and this is a very sort of shallow gradient beach. There's no drop off at all. And so consequently, the water lingers here and you can shoot these great reflective shots. I've taken squillions of them over the years down here. I'll stick some of my favorites up on the screen and you can see what I was talking about. But there's also some nice ripples here I've just noticed. I think I might bust out the old uh, Center 24 again and capture this exact shot. Wave just came in, that's cool. Take the dust cap off. Don't laugh, we all forget sometimes. Oh, I was going to do these ripples, wasn't I? God, brain like a sieve. And now I put footprints right through the bloody middle of it. What a tit. <laughs> oh my God, and there's a really nice uh, shell down here, a little white shell. I put, I, I put footprints right through what was going to photograph. There's more here. I'm going to go out of frame for a bit. Okay, let's try and get these grooves in the sand. I don't think that's going to be a very interesting <laughs> photograph. But look at that. I walked right through the, <laughs> the lines I was going to photograph. What an absolute bell end. I've just noticed that the birds have gathered down that way. And we're going to try and sneak around the back of them. I think there's a pelly just coming down the river. And this might be our final shot of the night because the colours well and truly fizzing. I think I can get behind these birds and do a sneaky shot. Wish me luck. Should be okay to get behind these birds. We've got plenty of room. And as you can see on the iPhone, there's still a little bit of colour in that sky. So this might be a nice little shot. I reckon it would be lovely actually. Okay, I'm going in. Will he scare them off? Don't fly away birds, I come in peace. I don't know what the scare range is, but this is a lovely shot. I'll take that quickly. Oh, this is very nice indeed. They're beautifully spread out, these birds. I'm gonna bump my ISO back down. lower the aperture slightly what open up the aperture sorry oh yes oh and I really got the, the, the wave breaking as well there that was great it's gonna do a different perspective wait for a break or oh, the bird coming in 
bird came in to land. That was lovely. I'm just going to wait for a breaking wave for the background here. I've back focused on the birds and I've got my other eye open and I saw the wave breaking. I think I got that. I'm going to zoom in, have a squiz, make sure I got it. And I did. Oh, that's lovely. lights fizzed a bit but in the end I think we've got a couple of okay shots there you can be the judge as always let me know in the old comments section below what you reckon well, there is a possible on the way back to the car shot on that little bridge we came walking in on sometimes you get a really nice shot looking down the river 